We use foreclosure radar every day. Uh, we use it mostly for properties that come in that say that they're vacant or unoccupied. We're mostly reactive in that people turn in complaints and concerns to us, and then we spend a small percentage of our time being proactive as well. That it has a lot of awesome features. I mean, there's a great tracking capability. You can attach photos. There's a lot of things you can do with it that we weren't aware of in the beginning. Um, accountability is big for our jurisdiction, and we like to, what gets measured gets done. Is our city manager's philosophy. We've had more success in obtaining cooperation through banks. Where we had no cooperation with banks, now that we're using foreclosure radar, we've had maybe 15 or 20 percent of our cases where banks will actually contact us because we've caught and who we've been able to address who the owner is at the time of the violation and they get back to us. But before where we had no contact information, we couldn't call anybody, we had nobody to send letters to, now we have that and that's been helpful for every handful of properties that can be self-abated by meaning the property owner or bank or whoever owns it, it's less money that the city has to spend, less taxpayer dollars, and that's important to us.